my name is Revan, and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. This is a new game. It released uh, just yesterday, I believe. And if you like it, you can go ahead and check the description to get a link to the demo, or you can buy it yourself. So, uh, let's see. This is going to be the first five years, as the title says. And we're going to play for 35. Wow, I get some really crazy hair. Whatever, I'll just stick with that. Set my company name to Pixel Studios. Player name to Raven67854, of course. And the game length we're going to set to 35 years. And, because, you know, an extra five years. Why not? Cool. Okay, so we're going to hit continue. And tutorial. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm starting my own game development company. And I'm in my garage. With what it looks like to be a DeLorean. Ah, oh, a supporter. Support a young startup. Buy the game. That's fantastic. Okay. Settings. No, window mode's fine. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, good. Hopefully help will stay out of my way. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is, obviously, we need to develop a new game. And we have to pick which kind of graphics technology we're going to use. So we're going to call this game Chaos Realms number one. Because we're going to make a lot of Chaos Realms, let me tell you. It's got to be a medieval game. It's got to be in the strategy genre. And we're going to put it for the PC because the G64 is most likely based off the C64. And it'll probably fail. It might not, but it probably will. So I'm going to also support the PC because it's also cheaper to develop for as well. That's also a big plus. And if you look at this, there's not really that much of a difference in the market share. Well, there is, but... Hopefully not enough. So instead of making a text-based game, let's make a 2D graphics game. Okay, so we're going to start the development. I did play the demo, so I do know a little bit about how to not fail too bad. So this is a strategy game. So we could focus on like stories and quests and gameplay. But what we're going to do is completely and utterly just toss it out the window and focus on the game engine and the gameplay. We're going to do okay. Now... If we're making an RPG, maybe we could tone down the engine a little bit and keep the gameplay up higher. You know, it's it's really quite odd on how you do it. Both design and technology uh, contribute. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so we're not really doing very well so far. Um, so after all, it is a strategy game. So think like an RTS or turn-based or something. So artificial intelligence would be very good. And dialogues don't even need to exist. And we'll keep level design in the middle. Kind of like we did with the other. And we'll hit OK. And we're going to need some research points. A lot of research points. But technology is also growing. So hopefully this will sell well. I and mean, it's our very first game. So, you know, I don't really know how well it's going to do. So I'm going to crank graphics up. And I'm going to crank world design down and sound down. To be fair, I think next go around, I'm probably going to. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to, like, you know, kind of tweak it a little bit, maybe add a little bit more story and stuff like that to kind of get the design and technology up. But I got to kind of work into a groove and then I just kind of churn out game after game after game after game after game. And it works, you know. All right, so our first game is done and. We're going to wait for the bugs to finish, mostly because also while you wait for the bugs to finish, sometimes you get some design points or technology points. We're done. So we're going to finish. The development of your game has finished. Okay, fantastic. 10 and 14. That is awesome. So uh, when I first tried it, I tried to put everything like in the middle, like all the way at the top. Oh, yeah, big major focus across the board. Problem is, is without a big team, you know, that's kind of hard. So you kind of have to specialize. So I chose to specialize in the graphics and the AI and, you know, stuff like that. So we're going to release the game as is. And unlocked. Good judgment. Awesome. Yeah. I can use research points. Yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah, blah. All right, when we get 50, we'll unlock custom game engine, and I'm not really going to. Oh, all right, so we got a review. Shh, shh, we have a review. Absolutely fantastic. 776. Um, yeah, it's, that's not bad. I mean, you know, I guess it could be better. 
Uh, but, you know, for the very first game released, not bad. So the first one was called Chaos Realms, and this one is going to be a military strategy game. Yes, I'm going to focus on the strategy genre, because you do get points for focusing. Well, sort of do. Um, let's see, it's a military one. Uh, you know, let's just call it Blitzkrieg number one. There we go. Whatever. And start development. Uh, look at that. It's selling pretty good for our very first game. So we have gameplay up. We don't really have much way in the story. I'm going to crank the story up just a little bit because, you know, I want to kind of like slowly like level up in that. I mean, I know it's not going to be the biggest development of focus, but hopefully that'll be okay. All right. If it would. There we go. Sweet, we're number 17 in the chart, and we gained 21 fans, which is awesome, because, you know, fans, obviously, you know, they'll, they'll buy your game always, I assume, and we're getting some money, which is pretty important. Um, I'm going to crank up the dialogue a little bit, but I'm going to keep everything around the same, just, just maybe a smidge more, okay, and we'll hit okay. Awesome, so basically, we always need to get these two up here at the top of the other, so hopefully it'll go well. And while I'm on this, eh, I'll just leave that one the same. While I'm on this, uh, hopefully you guys can give me some suggestions on what I should do for the next, you know, year five to ten. And we're already at year one, month five, so, you know, hopefully these videos won't be too, too long. Okay, so as soon as Chaos Realms go off the market, I will throw this one on. And we did beat our previous one, which is fantastic. That's awesome, and we gained four extra fans. It's, we are slipping a little bit. Oh, we made a bug, and we fixed the bug. That's fine. So, come on, Chaos Realms, go off the market. Awesome. Sold 17,000 copies, which is pretty good. Okay, now we're going to release our next one, which is a military strategy. Sweet. Now, obviously, of course, releasing new topics, new combinations and stuff is fantastic. The problem is, is like... You know, I like to specialize when I play these kind of games. And only there are other games like this. But this one's by far the best one for PC anyway. Awesome. Uh-oh. Come on, be an 8. Ah, well, same as before. But that's okay because at least it's the same. So, alright, so we're going to develop a new game. And... This is going to be a space one, so we're just going to keep going with this, and we're going to keep it in a rotation cycle, rather than, you know, so we're going to stay in the strategy genre, but different themes. So the last one was called Blitzkrieg. This is a space one. Uh, I don't have a name, so I'm going to call it StarCraft. That's right, StarCraft. Fantastic. StarCraft number one. I'm not going to come up with unique titles, because it doesn't really seem like it matters, so StarCraft number one. Next. 2D graphics, start development. Awesome. Now, you also get better, and the better you get, obviously, of course, the better you can develop technology and so forth. And with research and a lot of money, you can buy a fair bit of stuff. Oh, cool. So we, we got in the contracting business. Uh, I, I never really did it. Ended up getting enough money, like, long beforehand. And we're getting a lot of research, which is kind of annoying because we don't really... We don't really have very much in design, and we're already in the middle, so hopefully design will pick up very quickly. Oh, there we go. Excellent. You know, because it's nice we're getting a lot of research, but, you know, if we don't get the design and technology up there, this is going to be a failure of a game. Oh, crud. Well, hopefully hopefully, in the lice between when Blitzkrieg and everything else fails, hopefully we'll... Uh, oof, this is not going to be a bestseller, that's for sure. Ouch. So 20,000 units. This one's not going to be nearly as nice, but I'm going to release it anyway because it'll probably still make its money back. And awesome. Engine went up. Gameplay went up. Level design went up. Artificial intelligence went up. This, see, this is awesome. All our stuff is going up, which is really nice. And I even leveled up, so that's fantastic. So now we'll be able to create better stuff faster. And the review for this one's probably not going to be nearly as nice, but that's okay. 
Uh, six is still promising. Oh, seven. Seven. Our focus on the engine served well. Well, fantastic. Six. So, it's about the same. Not, not really that much worse. Uh, for research, we could make a new topic, which is like sci-fi, you know, fantasy racing, you know. But instead, we're going to research the custom game engine because developing your own game engine has a lot of advantages. Uh, there is no middleware as far as I'm aware. Well, there might be, but I don't know. And StarCraft number one is selling fantastically well, which is great because I'm going to use all that money to develop... Uh, genre well actually I'm gonna use it to develop a game engine sorry I don't know why I said new genre I don't know. whatever yes so green art games is obviously the one who made it and as nice as that is get out of my way you're in my way. Hmm. So I could create a custom engine at this point. I definitely do have the money. Uh, the problem is... You know what? Let's go on ahead and make a new game engine. They're very expensive to make, so I don't particularly... You know what? Let's make one more game without the custom engine first. Okay, we're going to develop a new game. And we're going to spend... Actually, we're not going to spend any points. Instead, we're going to develop a brand new game, Herp Derp, and we're going to call this Chaos Realms number one. No, sorry, number two. And it's going to be a medieval strategy for PC. Awesome. And we're going to hit next, and we're just going to leave development as is. And like always, we'll just leave everything kind of set. Now, you could tweak it and figure it out, but in the demo, I kind of figured out that for strategy, what I'm doing kind of seems to work. So, yeah. If you're in an RPG, you know, maybe you want really good story and less of a, you know, less of an engine, more story. Hopefully, hopefully here soon, I'll unlock some new stuff. Because if I don't, I'm just going to create the engine anyway. All right, so this one was much better. 14, 13. We're, we're definitely getting way better at uh, developing stuff. So, oh. Yeah, sure. Cool. So, come on. There we go. So, we're just, we're just going to wait. And we have 11 hype. And obviously, hype is useful for a lot of things. So we're going to release it. Awesome. Set ourselves a new record. And everything is leveling up. As it should be. Awesome. World design. Sound. Sweet. Release the game. All right. So this time around, we are... No, you know what? Let's try doing some contract work. I know I don't need the money, but I'm kind of like trying to hold out uh, a little bit. Let's see, that's a high penalty. That's a high penalty too. That's not very high. Let's try. Let's see if, let's see if we can pull it off. Yes! We got an 8. Oh, come on. 10. 10. 8. Okay, come on. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Yes! 10 would be even better. Sweet. Now, hopefully that will cause it to sell immensely well. And then I won't have to worry about money anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't need to do contract work anymore. Okay. So, we're going to make a custom game engine. And I'm going to name it after the game engine I developed. Float engine version one, and it's gonna have everything. And we're just make new ones as time goes on. We're gonna create a brand new one. Now that we easily have enough money. Now the nice thing about these new engines is obviously it allows you to create better games. You know we have like a save feature, which you know really adds up. Of course it is more features and stuff, so that bit is kind of tough and annoying, but that's okay. We have two hundred seventy thousand dollars in cash. 
So, getting out of the basement, or garage rather, I believe this is a garage, shouldn't be too difficult. And we also unlock linear story. Sweet, over 100,000 in a new engine. Sweet. Alright. Ah, come on, get out of my way. Yeah, research available gamepad. Very nice. So, let's develop a new game. So, we made Chaos Realms. I guess next will be Blitzkrieg number two. Could name it nothing, but, you know, at least having something seems a little bit better. Okay, we'll stick with the PC, and we'll use our brand new game engine. And we'll use the graphics version two, which is something you can level up, by the way. 29,000, oh yeah. Linear story and a save game feature. Cost five thousand dollars for a save game feature. That's rough. And you can see we're getting way more stuff faster. Eventually, we'll unlock new features like artificial intelligence too and a level designer. And we're gonna switch to mono sounds. And okay, can't wait to hire new employees. Oh, that'd be nice. Get even better. Of course, more would probably be expected of me. If I, uh... Oh, awesome. Oh, is it done? Okay, finish. There we go. Finish it. Sweet, 18, 18, new record. Unfortunately, the only downside to doing this is you don't get bonus points, but that's okay. You know, you kind of stay with your fan base. Uh, I did try making a new game one time, like a completely different genre, and it it did okay, but I lost a lot of fans because of it. Even if it, even though it sold really well, it was very weird. I have no idea if that was just uh, like just random or you know, I have no idea. Um, yeah, new topic would be nice, but gamepad. Now that could be interesting, but I don't think it would be. Let's Creek number two came out. All right. I don't know if it'll be as nice, but Ooh, eight. Eight. Nine. No. Ah, seven. Eight. Eight, 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 seven, eight. Ugh. Couldn't say it for some reason. Okay, so after Blitzkrieg, we have StarCraft. Number two. And we pick space. We pick strategy. And we pick the PC platform. And we pick our game engine, Float Engine version 1. And we hit next. We start development. And as you can see over there, Blitzkrieg is selling actually quite well. Uh, yeah, pretty well actually, surprisingly. At least enough to keep me afloat. I mean, not as well as past games, but that's okay. Nine and twelve. So just have to do better than the previous one. And it looks like we might at the very least make it with better technology at least. Sixteen, eighteen, not so good. But again, I will wait until <sighs> well at least technology did better. I'll wait until Blitz Creek's off the market and it stops making money. Might as well have enough in the bank anyway. So Oh, it's off the market. Not as nice, but the technology's a slight bit better, so it'll probably do roughly around the same. Nice. So we got the graphics engine up, so that ought to help a lot. Have any new research technologies to research? No. We are going to make a brand new game. I know. Already? Pick a platform. PC. We're going to make an RPG this time. Mm-hmm. Medieval RPG. I'm going to call this Tess because I like the Elder Scrolls. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to call it Daggerfall. That's right. Pick a game engine. This. Next. Actually, you know what? Oh. 
our views came in. Probably not gonna be nearly as nice. Oh, oh, eight. Not bad, actually. Eight. Cool. Ooh. Ten, please. Nine. Oh, sweet. So <laughs> it did even better. Well, that's great. I don't know why. Uh, fantasy, please. Start research. Wow, look at those sales numbers. Oh, 72,000. That's not bad. I could live with that. Could stretch 72,000 for about two years. Very nice. Very nice. So what I was going to do was develop a new game. Um, and I'm going to call it Warcraft number one. Oh, I know. I know. Fantasy. With a strategy twist. I'm sticking in. I, I, I want to branch out and make new games, but I'm going to only make strategy games. I just want to play it one go through and just see if it helps. That's all I ask. Awesome. So we're making some new bugs. Technology's growing pretty quick. Design's a little bit better on this one, actually. Ah, well. That's okay. And we'll invest into some better sounds. I mean, after all, I have half a million in cash reserve, so... Oh, very nice. So, 16, 17. Eh... It's kind of worse, actually. But hopefully the market genre will, you know, give it a little twist. Oh, 18. Sweet. Ooh. That is kind of the... Oh, now I have to wait for the bug to fix itself. There we go. Bug fix. I'll wait until the next month pays out. Ouch. Okay. Well, it's not going to go any further. So, finish. At least it was a new record on the technology combination. And it's a great combo. And my engine's now level 3. Artificial intelligence is also now level 3. And graphics is level 3. And I'm almost there with the uh, version 2. Alright, so we're going to release this. Better AI. Thank you. So we're going to really... Yeah, let's research that. And... We'll make one more game and then we'll update our engine with a new one. Once we unlock the level level editor, we'll uh we'll do it. Oh my god, nine, ten, ten. Sweet. Yeah, must have. That's awesome. Cult status. Set a new standard for the early gaming industry. That's awesome. Target audience. Well, might as well get that as well. That could be a boost, because you know. Strategy games are more for either everyone or more mature, so. Yep, our very first engine part. Wow, it sold over 100,000 units. So, I have a choice. I can move and pay, and I think I'm going to move because it'll allow me to make way better games. So, we're going to move. All right, so we moved. I'm just getting this out of the way. Start research. Fill position. Staff list. Huh. He's kind of even on everything there. You have to complete the staff management training. Oh, okay. So I guess maybe I should stop researching. Lovely. Well, at least I have 1.6 million in the bank, so I could probably, like, really just eat up. But I don't know how much this costs. So, train. Okay, I see. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, staff management. Uh, code incomplete. Oh, no. One at a time, I guess. Crap. So, training. 
Oh well. Look at that. That's amazing. I'm gonna need loads of research points. Nice office too. BitPixelStudios.com. Look at that. A fantastic office. Fill position. All right. Whoa. Uh, let's just invest a hundred grand because I don't have a lot of money. So I'm hoping my name alone will help. Uh, you know, with that. Let's see if I found anyone. Nineteen thousand dollars a month. Ah, this person's a little bit better. Uh, still some technology side and that. So, I mean, this person right here is like amazing, but he has like no technology whatsoever. But I don't know. Uh, but this person has more technology, more design. Yeah, you know, what? let's try this because I'm more of a technology oriented studio anyway. So, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna make. Medium games. I have no idea what that is. Ow. Yeah, your money eats through really quick. I can't just chill out and do nothing no more. Darn. Oh, well. Train. If you want to create hit games, have a crash team training them is important. Game designed for pirates, really? Code incomplete. Game dev jams. Ooh. I have no idea what that's actually gonna like increase, but eh, we'll do the technology training anyway. Huh, I guess technology. Uh, I can honestly say I don't want casual games. Um, research. Uh, Project management, medium games. I have no idea what that is, but I'm gonna invest the money into it anyway. Might as well. Yeah, it is actually really expensive. So, yeah, you know, we'll just be in him. We'll just make a game and see where it takes us. All right, we're gonna research uh, nothing, and instead, we're gonna develop a brand new game, and I can specify my target now. So I, wow, medium, nice. Uh, you know, what? let's make a medium game, I guess. Uh, let's see. I guess. Mm, actually, you not. Know let's see what our game list is. Oh, bring that back. Game history. Warcraft. I'm on Chaos Realms number three. All right, so develop a new game. Pick a topic, medieval. Pick a genre, strategy. Pick a platform, PC. Pick a game engine, load engine number one. Chaos Realms number three. Medium, 215 grand. I'm gonna sink most of my money into it and hopefully it'll work. 2D graphics engine, start development.
that sucks. So I'm going to get a third person just to kind of balance that out. They're not going to be very good for Chaos Realms number three, but, you know. I'll do both. Awesome. Fill position. Uh, 100 grand with a show reel, actually. And start looking. Oh, very nice. Wow. Twenty-three. Ow. Well, might as well. I hired someone famous, really? Train. Welcome to the studio. <laughs> okay. So, I'll be on that. Leave him up to that. I'll leave you up to that. And I had okay. With any luck, this game won't be a big major flop. Especially considering how much money I'm dumping into it. I mean, you know. <laughs> so far, it's not going very well. The, uh, the, the, the big expansion. No. Mm. Might as well give it a try. I think this game's going to end up busting on me. Mm. But then again, mm. maybe, maybe not. Oh, well, if they're going to still roll out stuff, then I'll just not do anything okay oh bug was made fix the bug finish huh really well, well. I think I'll go back to a small game sweet I leveled up at least game whoa nice See how poor it did. Ooh. Ow. Okay, so that did really, really bad. Um, so, yeah, ow. Um,. Contract work. That most certainly did not pay for itself. So we're gonna develop a new game, M for everyone. We're gonna call it Blitzkrieg number three. It's gonna be a small game. Military, genre, strategy, platform, PC, our good old game engine. And we're just gonna make this have absolutely amazing graphics. I'll give the interview. Sweet. See, they're going under. <sighs> uh, it's first game targeted towards mature players. Hmm, not bad. Awesome. 
See, that looks much better. We will ever need a brand new engine. I can't believe I wasted all that money. Oh, well. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. That's the important thing. But this one is much better. And believe it or not, I'm actually going to save the game. Because I realized... Oh. Is it safe? Yeah, it did. Okay, whatever. Save. Okay, well... Uh, fix the bug. You guys done? Thank you. Finish. Ah, cool. So that new game's coming out. I don't really think the strategy counter would do very well on that, but... Nice. New record all around. Oh, nice. We got gameplay up. We got level design up. Sweet. Level editor. Awesome. Okay, so we need to research some new stuff here. This is some serious business now. ADRP? Wow. All right. Might do some contract work to try to, you know. Hopefully it's like a 10, 10, 10. Awesome. Nice. Uh, Chaos Realms sold only 14,000 units and cost most of my money. That was a failure. Literally. Let's look at that. Staff list. Whoops. Let's look at... Let's let's seriously look at this for a second. Let's look at the game industry. Chaos Realms number three. Cost a grand total of 480 grand. Only made 164 and it was a loss for 315. And everyone's just chilling out. Hmm. So this is a very difficult choice. Realistically, I don't care. So I'll let them be for now. And we'll just have to see how that goes on. Look at that make a game and then end up doing that all right we're ranked 11 so what we're going to do now is we're going to find more contract work to fill uh and we just we just want to fill up the research that's that's all we just want to get some research in because we really need the research I don't, I don't really want to create a brand new graphics engine. Cool. See, that ended up being a very good choice. So let's do another save just in case, you know. And we're almost at year five. So, all right. So we're going to make a brand new game. And we're going to call it StarCraft. Mm-mm-mm. Starcraft number three, right? Yeah, because we made Blitzkrieg number three. So, space. Ooh, strategy. Pick platform. PC market. No, no, God, no, not that. PC market. Sorry, I'm so used to it being at the bottom. Okay. Uh, next. Yeah, we'll stick with the same graphics engine. We should be able to really squeeze out a fair bit out of, even if the game is small. Our guys are pretty experienced, so hopefully we'll be able to squeeze a lot out. It sold 163,000 and generated back all my money. And that's, um, it's very expensive with these two guys. I cost 8,000, they cost 25,000 a month. Wonder if the developers of this game are realizing you don't normally pay a programmer $25,000 a month or a level designer or anyone. Everyone's executive. Wow. Well. At least we got some good research points out of it. That's still going. I'll wait until it stops. And finish. So we made StarCraft number three. Wasn't the highest in either one, but hopefully it'll still be enough 
to keep us going. And we are at year five, everyone. I thank you all for coming and watching this video. And I hope you guys really, really like it. And I hope later you guys will watch version... Well, sorry, version? Sorry. I hope you guys will watch episode two. And I really hope you guys did enjoy this. And if you did, you know, you can get the game, check the description. And don't forget to follow me on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. All of which is in the description. You can also join the Steam group. We do play games. And you can also follow me on Twitch. I haven't been streaming as much lately, but I hope you do. Uh, you know, decide to follow me because I'll be starting to stream again here soon. And we're going to release the game. And I'm going to save. Ooh, 72,000. All right, so let's just check out the review, and then we'll just kill it. Seven. Not that great, but okay. Eight. Still, once again, not that good. But with my fan base, I'm hoping it'll still sell enough to... As long as it returns how much it costs to make, I do not care. Yeah, I would say it covers itself fairly enough. Okay, so once again, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.